Okay, this time it's time for our science subject. And this topic is a quiet review about our past lesson. Okay. And before we'll proceed, let's read again our three vocabulary words. Okay, here are the three vocabulary words. Number one, force. Everybody, repeat after the teacher. Force. Let us spell the word force. F O R C E. Force. Great. Okay, let's proceed to the second word. Number two is push. Push. Let us spell the word push. P U S H. Push. Great. And our third word is pull. Pull. Very good. Let us spell the word pull. P U L L. Pull. Great. Okay. Now, this time, our discussion is all about force. And again, force is a push or a pull needed to make an object move. And it makes things it makes things change their motion. Okay, this time it's time for us to watch video about push and pull. Forces and motion. Push and pull. When an object moves from place to place, it's called motion. For this object to be put into motion, a force needs to be applied to it. Forces that move objects can be push or pull. Take this ball for example. Let's see the different types of forces applied. Pull is when you bring an object towards you. Whereas push moves an object away from you. Let's look at some examples. These parents are using pull to move the girl closer to them. This man is moving the lawnmower away from him and using push. Let's play a game. I'm going to show you different examples of force and you need to tell me whether it's push or pull. Do this with your hands if it's push and this with your hands if it's pull. Are you ready? of any other things that you may push or pull? Hmm. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and Okay, now let us continue. Okay, forcing a pushing force. I mean, pushing force. Okay. Pushing is a force moving some things away from you. That is push. Okay. Here are some example. Okay, first, look at this. Okay, the boy pushing a cabinet. Okay, and he used push or pushing force. Next, look at that. Okay, that is push. Another one. 
Kicking a ball is push. And next, pushing a button, that is push also. Okay, now let's proceed to pulling force or pull. A pull is a force moving something towards you. Okay, always remember the word towards you. Okay, so it means that is pull. Okay, so here are some examples of pulling force. Yes, look at the picture. That is pull. Next, about that one. Okay, a man helping a boy to stand up. Okay, that is pull. Another one here. Okay. This man pulling a cart with a girl. Okay. Now it's time for us for our okay review or our game. Okay. May I see. Okay, who among you here listen and understand our discussion? Okay, let's start with number uh let us answer push or pull. Okay. I will select number six. Okay, what is that? Push or pull? Very good. It's pull. How about number two? What is that? Push or pull? Okay, it's pull. Right. Very good. How about number eight? Look at that. Push or pull? That is push. How about number one? Push or pull? It's push. Number five. Okay, it's the same with number two. That is pull. And number three, the same with number six. It's pull. And number seven, the same with number one. That is push. And number four, the same with number eight. What is that? It's push. Okay, very good. Okay, I think you understand it already. So again, what is a force? A force is a push or a pull needed to make an object move. And it makes things change their motion. Okay, pushing force is, or push is a force moving something away from you. That is push. And pull is a force moving something towards you. Okay. So, that's all. And let's have our activity now. And kindly answer your live worksheets activity given by your teacher. The second activity. Okay. This is the direction. Right pushing or pulling. Okay, let us read first the sentence and Okay, let us select what is the missing word pushing or pulling Okay, for number one I can lift my school bag by blank it Okay, what force you are going to use? Pushing or pulling? What will be the answer? Pulling, very good Okay, for number two until number five, you will be the one who answered it by yourself. Thank you. So that's all. Stay home, stay safe, and see you soon, students. Goodbye.